you are here because you believe what I believe, which is that we can have a politics that's based in hope and faith and imagination and not on fear and resentment and division. You're here as your presence in the room this afternoon is a refutation of that idea that your generation doesn't care. Your generation is disconnected. Your generation has no commitment to the political process. Your presence here says, we don't believe that. We believe this is our country. We've come here this afternoon because we want to make our country better. We want to appeal to the best in Canadians and not the worst. That's why you're here this afternoon. That's why Susanna's here. They've been running negative ads about me for about uh, six months. I don't really care what they say. They say things like, he's only in it for himself. I am in it for the same reason that you're in it. I'm in it for Canada. Right. They run ads that insinuate, and more than insinuate, that if you haven't, that if you've lived and worked in another country, if you've gone out from a place like this with a great degree and worked in another country for a few years, you're somehow less Canadian. We gotta nail that, folks. We gotta nail that. Because our Canada is a Canada when almost 20% of our population was born in another country. Where something like 2 million Canadians at any time are living and working overseas, learning, making a contribution, and they come back home. Do we think those are lesser Canadians than the people who never left? I don't think so. I want a country in which every one of you sets your sights on going overseas and testing yourself against the best the world has to offer, and then coming back and serving your country. That's the Canada I want. So this isn't about me, this is about our country, its shape, the kind of country we want to create. And this week, our party took a big step. We didn't take it casually, we didn't take it just because we thought, oh, let's look at the polls, see how it's going, we didn't do it that way. We thought long and hard about the interest of our fellow citizens. We thought long and hard about what was good for Canada. And we asked a simple question, remember, we're in opposition, temporarily. And when you're in opposition, you've got one job. One job to do for your, for your fellow citizens, which is to hold the government accountable and ask this question. Is this good enough? Is it good enough that we have a million and a half Canadians out of work? Is it good enough? Is it good enough that we've got youth unemployment? Your generation, unemployment doubled the national average. Is that good enough? No! Is it good enough that we have a deficit that goes from zero to 32, whoops, to 50, whoops, to 55? It could be at 60 before Christmas. Is that good enough? No! We've got an H1N1 epidemic coming at this country and we won't get the vaccine for another month, and the Americans have already got it. Is that good enough? No! And we've got a very vulnerable population of our fellow brothers and sisters, our flesh and blood, Aboriginal Canadians, 
And what they are getting to prepare for the H1N1 e epidemic is body bags. Is, is, is that good enough? No! Okay, I think I'm hearing something loud and clear from you. And then, let's just go around the table here and get it all out here so we know what we're dealing with. We then have cancer patients in Kitchener-Waterloo, in Montreal, in Halifax, all across the country. Cancer patients who need nuclear diagnostics. This may have slipped off your radar a little, but just think about this. This country used to ship to the whole world the nuclear isotopes that cancer patients and heart patients need to get a good diagnosis. We used to live. so rudely interrupted by, by Mike. Um, we used to lead the world in nuclear diagnostics. We used to be the country that the whole world looked to for nuclear medicine. And twice, twice, not once, but twice on this government's watch, they didn't have a plan B when Chalk River shut down. And now the whole world is going short in nuclear diagnostics. And that means right across the country, Cancer patients go to the hospital, heart patients go to the hospital, they're worried, they're frightened, and their doctors say you gotta go home because we haven't got the nuclear medicine to put you through your test. Now you think about that for a minute, and you begin to realize you have a little it's a little lesson in political science. Ask yourself what a government, what a government has to do for its people. It has to provide the basic things in health in health care that give them basic security. You let people down at that basic level, you are failing at the basic functions of government. Now, is that good enough? I don't think so. No! So here's where we are, folks. This is where it gets tough if you're the leader of a political party. You want to provide stability for the public. You don't want to go put, put your ambition first. You want to try and do what's right. But when you accumulate that list of things where the government is just not doing its job, you have to draw a line. It's not about elections. It's about doing our job and saying, is this good enough? something. We're going back to the old days. <laughs> they had this fancy one that didn't have a, a cord. I, I trust cords. I'm an old guy. I, I go with what I know, right? Okay. So we drew a line in the sand. We said this isn't good enough. We said this government has let Canadians down. And it's going to be for someone else to prop them up. So we had a very comic spectacle this week. I was watching a ball game earlier in the week and I turned on and as usual they had, you know, every 10 minutes they had these ads saying Michael Ignatius in favor of this coalition with scary socialists, scary separatists. And hey presto, on Friday, guess who's propping up the Stephen Harper government? The scary socialists and the scary separatists. So it's been an interesting week. Let Jack Layton wear this government. Let Jill Doucette wear this government. I'm not wearing it anymore, and either are any of you. Yeah! 